Today, I have nine new things that we can do to help us romanticize our life this September. Welcome back, ladies. I am so excited for today's video because there are different things that are all about transitioning into the new season. And if you have missed any of my how to romanticize your life videos, I will have that playlist in my description box below. But I started in January and it's just been this buildable series that I hope many of you have been enjoying this year. So the first thing that I think would be perfect for this time of year is to start transitioning your wardrobe, taking out those items that you will probably not wear for the rest of the year or for the rest of the season and just start transitioning those colors, the textures, anything like that, things that you would more likely wear in the fall months. And then of course you usually add layers. So these would be, for me, it would be more about the colors. I do tend to get rid of different things that just look really summery to me. So I have some summer dresses that I'm going to be putting away. Um, we have very mild falls, very mild winters here. So um, it's, it's not too much of a change, but there are just some things that I don't like to take out after a certain time. So that is what I'm going to be focusing on. And I know that it would be something that many of you would want to do as well, but just making a time of it. Like how would you make that time really enjoyable for yourself? Maybe the way that you put the items away and take them out, lighting a candle, doing something to just enjoy yourself in that time. My biggest suggestion would be to make sure that your bed is made, make sure your whole entire space is nice and clean. That way when you start to transition those items, it's just, it's clear what items are out of place. It makes you want to clean up that space right away. And of course, never ever put any of your clothing on the ground. That is my top suggestion all the time. Treat your clothing with care. Now my second one kind of falls in line with this, but it's more of a, more of a search. You know, as a big group here, we can start putting something out there that we would like to see more of. So that thing this time would be feminine coats. I, and what does a feminine coat mean to you? So it means something different to everybody. Everybody's body is different, what you're looking for, but maybe search feminine coat and then whatever attribute of that coat you are looking for. For myself, I love a trench swing coat style. I love the pea coat look. Um, those are different things that I really love. Something that's tailored, something fitted in the, in the bodice area and then that has a nice flare, a nice swing to it. So that is usually what I am searching, but around this time, I would say definitely search for a feminine coat and whatever that looks like to you. The third suggestion I have is to plan an afternoon movie. So something that you can do at home, or if you want to go out, that would be fine as well, but something that you can do from the comfort of your own home, plan to make some popcorn, have some candy or whatever kind of treats that you like. Maybe you made some homemade cookies and just enjoy your afternoon of watching something. I was saying to enjoy reading a book in the afternoon, but right now I would just say, you know, do something that you really enjoy when it comes to watching a movie or um, watching a show, something that you would carve out a specific time for and something that you could look forward to throughout the day or throughout the week. The fourth suggestion I have is to write down your goals for the next five years. This is something we often do maybe at the end of the year or at the very beginning of the year. I would suggest that we do that right now. Just write down the goals that you have for the next five years. Is that what I said? Yes, that's the next five years. Um, that could be, you know, with regard to finances, something that you are just really dreaming about, maybe a home that you want to build, or even relationships that you have, how you want to improve those. And make sure that you're writing them in such a way that you know the different steps that you need to take to get to different goals that you have within there. So that way they're 
they're like smart goals, right? They are measurable and you're able to identify what kind of things you need to do to get to that point. And don't be afraid to start on that right now. My next suggestion for how to romanticize your life is to write down seven things that you would like to complete the next day and make sure that you're writing them down in the order in which you would like to complete them. So I know that a lot of times they say, you know, don't write, don't give yourself any more than three items to complete in a day. But I say seven is a good number. Seven is a really great number to feel and it can be the smallest of things. I'm not saying make sure that all of these things are really big things that you need to complete, but it can just be those little things that you do, even if it's laundry, even if it is you know paying your bills, something like that. Write them down in the order in which you would love to get those things done by and as well as what's most important in that next day. And I promise you that this will change so many things for you when you go into your days. You will have a list of the things that are most important to you. You will feel good checking those things off the list no matter how small they are. And by the end of the day, you, were, you will feel wonderful and accomplished and as if you made the most of that day. The sixth thing that I would love for us to do this month is to plan a game night and a dessert night with some friends. So we can, you know, just do a lot with very little. And sometimes this is what holds a lot of people back in having somebody over, enjoying their time. Maybe do this on a Friday night, especially if you're trying to save money around this time. You can just do something very inexpensive. You can make some cookies. You can even ask your friends to bring a, a treat as well. And then you just sit down and you play some games. And let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite game to play with some friends if you were to have them over? The seventh way that you can romanticize your life this month is to eliminate some of those things that cause you stress in your life when it comes to things around your home or even things within your car. Figure out something that you look at or you see from a day-to-day -day basis and it just kind of causes you a little bit of stress. When you eliminate that thing and take care of it, I promise you that you will feel as if you have added so much more romance to your life because you aren't so stressed. How can you feel like your life is romanticized when you have all this stress? Things that you can very easily handle, but maybe that you've put off. Try to find those little things and deal with them this month. The eighth thing is something that I just did. I think it was yesterday or the day before, but that was to change out my hand soap. So in my kitchen, I have a, a pump for dish soap and then I have one for hand soap. And I really like to bring in this fall time through scents. And so bringing in a lovely hand soap, I like the apple cider one from Mrs. Myers, And I already had that on hand because I think I had bought some extra last year. And so that's something that I just look forward to around this time. And then also if you bring in a candle for, you know, a scent that you really enjoy around this time, that's a perfect time to do that as well. So just focusing on the scents and making it more appropriate for this season would be perfect. Ninth suggestion I have is something a little bit extra, but it's something that I was just noticing how much I love and that it just makes me feel really nice and like my life is you know so so romanticized is to pay attention to your purse now when we've talked about the fly lady system in the past car and purse day was a big thing right one of the days out of the week you clean out your car you clean out your purse and it just makes you feel good one of the things that i would suggest is making your purse something very cohesive like when you look into it make it very appealing for you to look into and a lot of ways that you can do this is by making sure that you have different compartments, different uh, little bags or, or things, all the colors that look really beautiful together, maybe a pattern that you like paired with something else, a pen in the color that you love, all of that. Pay attention to all of that when it comes to your purse because when you open it up, it will 
feel as if it's just a, like a piece of art that you are looking into, right? And you know, no detail too small here. So if that is something that interests you, please let me know that in the comments below if you are going to do that or if you already do this because it's something that I do and I just love to have everything look really beautiful within the purse when I'm looking at it. So I will maybe do a video on that pretty soon as well. But anyway, that is what I have for you this September. Please let me know in the comments below what things you are excited about doing. And I hope that all of you take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.